This is one of the graphs posted by State Representative Gina Inahosa this week showing discrepancies of millions of dollars in big city school districts between what was spent on special education and what was actually budgeted. In Austin ISD, that number was more than $75 million for the 2022-2023 school year. It was the same school year the district ended up with a backlog of requests for evaluation for special education services, and part of the reason the district ended up on under observation by two TEA monitors. Ken Zarefis is the president of the Teachers Union Education Austin. They weren't given enough and they had demands that exceeded what they were given. The state's not funding public education, let alone special ed. One of the TEA monitors announced that the district had completed the request during the AISD Board of Trustees meeting on February 8th. I'm so happy to report that the backlog of evaluations has been cleared. When they have for almost a decade and a half, an artificial cap on the number of special ed students that could be identified. You control the number, then you lift that cap, which happened just a few years, a couple years ago, then you have an explosion of need, yet no funding for it, and the state still doesn't fund. So this is, a, this is an issue that's been manufactured by our legislature, our TEA, and the governor. Here's some of the history. In 2016, the Houston Chronicle ran an investigative series about an arbitrary 8.5% cap the Texas Education Agency placed on the number of students schools could provide special education. In 2018, the U.S. Department of Education confirmed the Chronicle's findings and Governor Greg Abbott directed Texas Education Agency Commissioner Mike Morath to correct it. In 2022, the feds found that Texas improved its special education numbers but still fell short of the national average. And in 2023, the state took over Houston ISD after several schools did not meet state standards and separately placed Austin ISD under the monitors in part because of the special education evaluation backlog. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.